please welcome Michael Simarusti. What? Damn. What? Man, homeboy from Providence? This gentleman is a new standard for California cuisine. Wow. Welcome back to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. It's nice to be back. This is how it's going to work. I'll call you one at a time. You'll come up, present the dish to Chef Michael. The first person will take the champion's chair. The big question is, can you stay in champion's corner or are you going to get knocked out? The chef who's in champion's corner after all five dishes have been tasted wins. Understood? Yes, yes chef. chef. First up, Declan, please. Let's go. Good luck, D. Thank you. It looks good. Um, for his style, that's Declan on a 10. Describe the dish, please. So I've done uh, oven roast and chicken, butter base with garlic and thyme. Then for the starch, I turned the basmati rice into an Irish dish that we do at home called champ. It's nice. It's homey. Lots of texture. The pancetta is really nice on top. Everything that's there has a purpose, and, and it serves that purpose well. So well done. Thank I you like very much, it. Chef. Uh, take your dish and sit in the champion's corner. Yeah. I'm in the ring that Muhammad Ali is fought in, and I'm sitting there in the champ's chair. Brilliant. Amber, let's go, please. I always feel like Declan's food is a little bit lacking. You know my dish is better than his. Uh, so I have prepared for you today a Yukon mash with a filet, and then I have finished the dish with a little bit of a poblano and truffle cream sauce. What the fuck is that? That's a hot mess, just like you, Amber. You're not hot, but you are a mess. So truffle was one of the items you had to grab at the end? Yes. Truffle oil is a tough thing to put in any dish. Yeah. I think the dish lacked, I thought, a little bit of acid to like really lift it and, and make it more compelling. Chef, big question is, um, does it knock Declan off the champion's chair? I think for the time being, we got to keep Declan over there. Yeah. Wow. Well done, Declan. Thank you very uh, much. Good Thank effort. You. Not good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm pissed off about this 150%. Up next, Mary Lou. Let's go, please. <sighs> It's time to make Dad proud. Describe the dish, please. Um, what I have in front of you is a veal chop. The base is a parsnip puree with some pickled corn, some charred scallions, feta cheese, creme fraiche, and there's a little bit of lemon juice on top. So it tastes as good as it looks? It tastes really good. Overall, it's a very refined dish. Thank you, Chef. Executed to a very high level. Hey, good job, um, Chef. The question is, does she knock out Declan, or does she keep Declan in the chair? This is a tough one. Pound for pound, you'd have no idea that Mary Lou could topple somebody <laughs> the size of Declan. But with this dish, I think you've done it. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. Amazing. Declan, move. The lightweight takes the chair, and the heavyweight leaves the ring. I'm not really surprised that Mary Lou beat Declan. Um, Declan's dish was amazing, but Mary Lou's really turned shit up. We have a new champion. Question is, can anyone knock her out? Cody is going to try. Let's go, please. Chef Michael is a, is a huge influence on the kind of food that I do. To say this means a lot is a vast understatement. Visually, I think it's nice. I mean, it's very modern looking. There's all sorts of restaurants around the country that you could see a dish like that. Describe the dish, please, young man. At the base, we have a couscous uh, that is hydrated with chicken stock. The halibut is seared and then um, basted with thinly sliced garlic, green onions, and uh, za'atar and thyme. There's tons of flavor there. I think the halibut's a little bit salty. Hercha. You know, that's, that's not easy to do because how it's a fairly bland fish. Is it a knockout punch? No. Mary Lou is fine over there. She She's fine. looking good, yeah. Big question is, will Mary Lou go the distance? We have one more round. Let's see if Corey can knock her flat on her back. And of course, the best is always last. You might not be sitting there too long. I tapped into my roots. I'm Latin. I did a tomatillo salsa along with a couple of kumquats and poached the lobster tail a little bit in white wine. And it's kind of that Peruvian ceviche kind of flavor to it with all the components. It's minimalistic, but it delivers on flavor. Thank you. Overall, like that is a, a pretty accomplished dish for 40 minutes. Thank you, Chef. Uh, chef, tough question. Um, does Corey's dish knock out Mary Lou's incredible chop? That's tough to say. I think both of them should come over here and we should raise one of their arms. Isn't that traditional in a fight? Let's do it. I'm very, very excited right now. Good luck, Mama. I want to go up against the best, and I want the best to go up against me. Well, well done, both of you guys. The winner is Mary Lou. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh, I won! Congratulations. Great job. I won the first black jacket. I won the first black jacket challenge. Everybody better watch out, Mary Lou's coming up.